Losing weight and being in a diet can be hard, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm gonna share with you seven diet hacks that are gonna help you lose weight. First hack is to make sure you're eating a high protein diet. Eating a high protein diet will make you feel full and help you preserve that muscle mass when you're trying to lose weight. I try to get my clients to eat around two grams of protein per kilo of body weight. I'm nearly 100 kilos, so I try to at least eat 200 grams of protein every day. And when you're eating your meal, try to eat the protein first. This will help fill you up quicker, so you're not going up for seconds. Hack number two is making sure you're eating high volume foods, which are low in calorie. When you're trying to lose weight and in a calorie deficit, you want to feel full. Because if you don't feel full and you're starving on your diet, chances are you're not gonna to stick to it. Some basic foods that are low in calorie and high in volume are your fruits and veggies. I'm a big fan of berries and green vegetables. You can eat a whole kilo of these and be under 400 calories. And you might adjust some of your carbohydrates. Like instead of eating 100 grams of rice, you might eat 200 grams of pumpkin. And that 200 grams of pumpkin is still lower calorie than that 100 grams of rice. Doing these smarter choices will make your weight loss journey that much easier. Hack number three is to avoid liquid calories. If you're in a diet, I think liquid calories are a waste of calories. You don't get the satisfaction of chewing and eating something and making yourself full. I would much rather eat 200 grams of pineapple than have a glass of pineapple juice. That's just my opinion and it doesn't really make sense when you're trying to lose weight. If you were bulking, it would be a different story. And if you were a coffee drinker that uses milk, when you're having over two coffees a day, it's nearly turning into a full meal. You have a 200 calorie coffee, you have that three times a day, that's 600 calories. Are those 600 calories worth it when you're short on calories already? It's up to you. Maybe you gotta to go to black coffee. I don't drink coffee, so it's not my problem. That's your problem. <laughs> Hack number four is to be prepared. Prep your food. Me personally, when I haven't eaten for five hours and I'm starving, I'm just gonna eat the first thing I see and I don't care what it is. And this is where most people slip up. They haven't prepped their food and they're absolutely starving. So on their way home, they're driving through the drive-thru and just getting something quick and easy because they just need to get those hunger pains away. And then since you're starving, you just overorder and you consume way too many calories than you need to. So to avoid this, make sure you prep your meals so you're not driving through the McDonald's drive-thru. Another little hack that will help, and it's not on the list, if I get lazy and forget to prep my food, I will have food at work. I will have food and snacks at work that doesn't require any cooking like tuna and packet rice. There's an easy meal there. If you have a freezer, you can whack in some frozen vegetables, some protein bars and some fruit for some snacks. I have those foods as backup so I don't end up down at the bakery. Hack number five is to swap sugar for sugar free or fat for fat free. Personally, I don't see the difference in the can of Coke versus Diet Coke, except one has 700 calories and one has about 20 calories. Oh, but Corey, diet soda causes cancer. Bruh, I'm not gonna go into the science, but don't you think if that were true, thousands or more people would have cancer? <laughs> Oh, some people, honestly. There are so many alternatives these days with your drinks, sauces, cheeses, yogurt, whatever. If you swap those things into your diet, you could save so many calories without even changing anything to your diet. You could take out some sauces and swap the sugar for sugar-free sodas, and you could easily drop 500 calories without even doing anything. It's not rocket science. Seems like a pretty simple hack to me. If you want to lose weight or gain muscle, but you're not sure where to start, you don't know how many calories you should have, how much protein you should be eating, when to eat, my nutrition ebook will help you with all of those things and so much more. You should check it out. The link is in the description. Hack number six is to make sure you get good sleep. You're probably like, Corey, sleeping isn't a diet hack. Just listen. If you don't get good sleep and you're sleep deprived, you can increase your hunger hormone, ghrelin, or what I like to call the gremlin. When this increases, you want to snack more, even when you've just eaten. Half an hour after you've eaten, you're looking in the fridge and you're like, hmm, what can I have to eat? If one day you are so hungry and you just get all these weird cravings, Maybe have a look back on your past few nights of sleep. Have they been bad? Maybe this is why you're getting all these cravings. So make sure you sing those lullabies and have a good night's sleep. Last hack is to make sure you drink water. Yeah, you've probably heard this one before. Cool. I'm gonna say it anyway. Staying hydrated and drinking a good amount of water will help you feel full and may stop your overeating. I'm currently doing a challenge with 15 clients and I'm making them drink at least three liters of water a day. Most of them are finding this quite challenging and they're going to the toilet more, which is making them get up and move around which can also put you in a calorie deficit, which will help you lose weight. Me personally, I drink around four liters a day. It makes me feel good, helps with my palms in the gym, and my skin is glowing. <laughs> if those seven diet hacks help with your weight loss journey, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you wanna find out the biggest fitness myths in the industry, make sure you watch this video up here.